Hello, my name is Dr. Devan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the drugs for benign hyperplasia of prostate. Benign hyperplasia of prostate is a very common complaint among the males after the age of 55 and it is manifested as dribbling of urine, polyuria, and urinary tract obstruction, repeated urinary tract infection. So it is it is a disease of the male after the age of 55, characterized by proliferation of the benign stromal and glandular elements of the prostate. This is the prostate. It is a fibroglandular organ. It is a part of male reproductive system and it has fibers and glands and also smooth muscle. So it is a fibromusculoglandular organ, a part of the male reproductive system. What happened? Dehydrotestosterone and androgen derived from testosterone and that work on the prostate gland as well as on the hair follicles is the major hormonal stimulus for proliferation of the prostate this is the dehydrotestosterone mineral hyperplasia of prostate most commonly affects the inner periurethral zone this is the urethra and this zone is mostly affected so if it is enlarged or proliferated then it will compress the urethra this is the prosthetic part of the urethra this is the neck of the bladder okay so it may be compressed so urine flow is obstructed okay inner periurethral zone and transition zone of the prostate producing nodules that compress the prosthetic urethra. Clinical symptoms and signs are related to the urinary obstruction that are predisposes to recurrent urinary tract infections. Okay, we'll get recurrent urinary tract infections. Medical management is based on alpha adrenergic blockers and 5 alpha reductase inhibitors which decrease prosthetic smooth muscle tone and inhibit dihydrotestosterone production respectively. So two type of drug, alpha adrenergic blocker, particularly alpha-1 adrenergic blocker and 5 alpha reductase inhibitors. Combination therapy of this and that together has better outcome so this is the bladder containing urine and this is the normal urinary bladder normal prostate so urine is going normally but in case of benign hyperplasia of prostate so the urethra is compromised it is compressed by the nodular growth of the prostate gland that may obstruct the passage of urine they may lead to retention of urine may cause polyuria and dribbling of urine as well as it may also cause repeated urinary tract infection okay so our next slide okay here drug for benign prostatic hyperplasia we have two type of drug one is 5 alpha reductase inhibitor that is finasteride and deuterosteride this has long half-life more effective okay so this is finasteride these are steroid like drugs they decreases the formation of potent androgen that is the dihydrotestosterone in the prostate and decreases the size of the prostate it takes six, six to eight months of therapy to decrease the prostate volume and increases urinary flow. Okay, so increase in urinary flow. So that will be 
take six to eight months of continuous therapy. So we may expect after one year best outcome. Adverse effects of 5 alpha reductase inhibitor, decreased libido, libido means drive for sex, importance inhibited to, to maintain erection of penis to have a sexual intercourse, ejaculatory and erectile dysfunction. These are the adverse effects of 5 alpha reductase inhibitor. So we have two drugs, finasteride and a new dutas teride dutasteride okay so these are the drug for benign prostatic hyperplasia this is one group of drug we have also another group of drug these are coming in this slide alpha 1 adrenergic antagonist okay like that that can be used as an alternative to surgery but certainly it takes months after month to get the best result Prazosin, terazosin, doxazosin, tumulosin, silodosin, and alfujosin. Here it is better. Tumulosin has long half life and little bit better outcome. They relieve urinary bladder outlet obstruction, decreases the tension of prosthetic smooth muscle. Prostatic in prostatic capsule, okay, and bladder neck and increases urinary flow through the urethra. Adverse effects orthostatic hypotension, tachycardia, dizziness, sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction may happen in case of alpha 1 adrenergic antagonist, but less than non-specific adrenergic antagonist. Orthostatic hypertension person is standing from lying position, then suddenly he will have decreased blood flow to the brain, he may be fainted. Combination therapy with alpha-1 adrenergic antagonist plus 5 alpha reductase inhibitor produces a greater reduction of symptoms such as acute urinary tract, urinary retention, incontinence, renal failure and recurrent UTI. So combination of alpha-1 adrenergic antagonist plus 5 alpha reductase inhibitor is good for the outcome. So there will be decreased urinary tract infection, decreased chance of renal failure, decreased incontinence and decreased chance of acute urinary retention if we give alpha-1 adrenergic antagonist in combination with 5 alpha reductase inhibitor. And that's all about the drug used for management of venal hyperplasia of prostate. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.